<clears throat> I've got a hydraulic cylinder here. I need to pull this ram out of the cylinder. And it's got a weird uh, end cap here that I've never seen before. There's a snap ring inside here. And it looks like this end cap has a groove in it. And the snap ring is inside the groove. So I'm going to have to squeeze this snap ring together and pull this at the same time. <clears throat> and I think I can do that using the tamer. I'm going to try it. got an adapter in the end of this ram <clears throat> so I can screw in this uh, 5 8 to 3 8 adapter and then uh, pull it through the jacking screw in <clears throat> Got the bridge locked down, and since it's this shaft is so long, and I've got the bridge farther away from this end bracket than normal, I, I had to make a couple of longer standoffs. This is a a rod out of a strut, and uh, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna have to squeeze that. Uh, clip while I'm pulling this ram out which is going to pull that end cap out. This is the steering cylinder on a Jacobson utility vehicle. Okay, I think I got both sides of that clip free now. This is coming out. Now it's dark now. That's coming out now. So, I'm just wondering how you're supposed to get this out <coughs> normally. I mean, Anyway, this is the my adapters bottomed out against this bridge. Yeah, this end cap <clears throat> got a groove in it, and the snap ring was in that groove. So it's not a matter of just taking the snap ring out and then pulling this out because you got to squeeze the snap ring in and pull this out at the same time. So my 
roller tamer came in handy for that. It also comes in handy when I rebuild these pistons and I'll make a uh, another video of that.